Hi guys and welcome to the nine month ant update. I cannot believe I've had this queen ant for nine months and since then on the eighth month update we had the queen, we had a worker, a whole bunch of larvae and a few eggs. Well this month so much has happened. So obviously we had the queen, we had the worker but we now have 11 to 12 pupae. I know I kept saying pupas in the last video and someone corrected me as pupae. Um, a few chunky larvae and tons of eggs and I actually was able to capture the queen laying one of the eggs I noticed whilst I was filming her that something white was coming out the back of her and then she curved around her abdomen and pulled it out of herself so I thought that was pretty cool and it's good to know that she's not actually feeding these to the brood one thing I will say whenever I check up on the nest I see like them organize the eggs into one pile and the larvae into one pile and the pupae into one pile and then sometimes they mix it up a bit and then sometimes they reorganize them again like they're constantly changing them around cleaning feeding ants just don't have a break like i have heard that they have like really short sleeps throughout the day they're just they have they you can't you can't find a lazy ant can you like they're just so incredible to watch and it's you know it's not for everyone I talk about ants to people and they think I'm a weirdo, but whatever. I think it's very important in life to just embrace the things that you are passionate about, what you love. And I think animals, whether they're tiny or massive, are incredibly interesting. And ants are the same. Like, I honestly, I watch them way too much. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we did actually have something really bad happen. So you remember on the eight month update, when I uploaded that, there was um, one larvae that pupated the night I uploaded that video. It was really annoyed. I was like, oh god. Anyway, it was estimated to hatch out between the 18th and 28th of April. And on the 25th, I was looking in the nest and I thought, oh, that looks like a cocoon. But it hasn't, no, well, it looks like a pupa, but it hasn't got a cocoon around it. Then I looked closer after a few hours and I thought, actually, that looks like an ant. I also noticed one of the cocoons were kind of deflated like it had been opened and I kept an eye on it and as you can see it was actually an ant and like right up in a ball how it would be living in the cocoon and I thought oh my goodness it's dead but I did leave it in there because I wanted to see where, whether the worker or the queen would, int would interact with it possibly bring it alive again I don't know maybe it just hadn't realized it hatched out and I didn't think it actively hatched out because it wouldn't still be in the ball so I wonder whether the queen or worker had accidentally removed it from the cocoon or whether they somehow knew it was dead and they removed it so after a good few hours later, I decided I'd step in. You know, the queen, the worker, they'd kind of left at this point and I thought, maybe I could help. So I did my best. I even put a little bit of water on it, not to drown it or anything. But I thought, you know, maybe that will wake it up. Maybe it was dehydrated. I don't know. At this point, I was trying anything. And as you can see, it's very clearly an ant. And in real life, it was like a speck of dust. Like you wouldn't have even noticed it if it was like on the side. But it was there and it was, oh, I don't know, I was just so, it was sad. Like, I was like, oh, we're going to get another worker and then it just didn't survive. And I don't know if that's common. I don't know if that happens a lot. I, I imagine it does. I just hope the rest hatch out normally. Now, talking of the rest, there's a very good chance that some of these workers may hatch out red. Now, if you remember back, we did um, an adoption video where I had to put the Lassius Flavus eggs in with the Lassius Nigers. Now a few people had their reservations about this but a lot of people have said to me don't worry about it. They are both like the Lassius species are generally quite calm. They don't actively fight. Um, obviously in the wild if you had a Lassius Flavus worker and a Lassius Niger worker they're not going to be best buddies but if they had grown up since an egg and they look pretty much the same besides their colour. I couldn't even imagine why they would fight because they're almost like programmed to just serve the queen. And I, d I think they're colourblind, you know? Ants aren't racist. They're just all about the pheromones in their life. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be fine. They're very similar in the way they look. Um, the, as I said, the only difference is really their colour. So we will see how that works out. I couldn't imagine just an ant being an egg and then a larvae, then a pupae, and then suddenly when it hatches out, it thinks, actually, I, I don't belong in this. So I just imagine they're gonna get on fine. Um, you know, some people might disagree. I'm sure time will tell. 
As for food, the queen gets a tiny bit of honey because she needs sugar and the brood get protein. So usually I would give them an already dead cricket. This time around, I had some wax worms that had gone like a brownie black color and just dead. Like I don't know why they died. And if you've ever had geckos and you have wax worms and you just find them like that, it's kind of odd. So I wanted to make sure they were definitely dead so I chopped their heads off, which you know, <laughs> is what I tend to do with the um, ants food because I'd hate for an animal to be like eaten alive. So I chopped their heads off. And I actually gave that to the nest like a week before loads and loads of the larvae started pupating. So I wonder if the fat and the protein from the waxworm really helped them out a bit. Anyway, they are ordering really well. I really believe that next month's update we will have a lot of workers. Very excited about that. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this update. It's been a little bit everywhere. We've talked about racism and the ant world. and I don't know. I went off on a little bit there. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.